Smutathon is upon us once again, so I thought I'd help out with some visual aids. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is April and welcome to my channel and welcome to Comic Corner where I haul, review, or simply ramble about comics. Today's episode, we're going to discuss Smutathon. Smutathon is a biannual reading challenge where participants read romance novels based on a series of prompts. Round three is currently underway. It started Monday, June 3rd and will complete on Sunday night, June 9th. The readathon is hosted by its creators Riley Marie and Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey. Links to both of their channels are in the description below. The reading prompts for this round come in a form of a bingo card and I have five comics that I think will satisfy a lot of the criteria. Before we get started, let me give a disclaimer that some of the following material is rated M for mature. That means it can contain nudity, sexual content, and graphic sexual depictions. So in other words, not safe for work. Also, let's switch up the bingo card. I'm going to operate under the idea that most of you do not read comic books or graphic novels of erotic nature. So we're going to kind of give you some free spaces. New to you authors out of your comfort zone and finish a book in a day are all considered free spaces during this particular video. First up, we have Saga written by Brian K. Vaughn. I have mentioned this on my channel several times. It is a sci-fi fantasy space opera about two warriors caught in an intergalactic war. They meet, they fall in love, they start a family, and then they are on the run because their love is illegal and forbidden and their offspring is considered an abomination. They are just fighting to stay together as a family. This series is beautiful, it is funny, sexy, heartbreaking, exciting. I, I can't say enough good things about it. And for the bingo challenge, it satisfies Forbidden Romance, LGBTQ+, Enemies to Lovers, um, Different Worlds, uh, <laughs> oh, and One Word Titles. Number two is Sunstone, written and illustrated by Stefan Sedgwick. This is a beautifully funny story about two women who enter a relationship under the umbrella of the BDSM community. Let me read a blurb on the back. Exploring sexuality and how it affects our lives, the nature of fetishism, and the truth behind BDSM, as there seems to be more than a few misconceptions about it. And I would say, here, here to that. This, I think, is beautiful and tasteful and sexy and informative. I really enjoyed the story. I thought it was eye-opening and fresh. And I think the artwork is gorgeous. And this book satisfies the criteria for LGBTQ+, and one word titles. The third and possibly my favorite in the entire stack is Fairest. The Hidden Kingdom by Bill Willingham. Fairest is a spin-off of the popular fable series where fairy tale creatures are driven from their home worlds into a place called Fable Town by an evil entity called the Adversary. In the series Fairest, we follow the females of these fairy tale lands like Snow White, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty. In this edition, we are following Rapunzel. Not only her origin story, but a lot that happened for centuries after that. We find out that after she left the tower, she found herself in the Far East living in the Hidden Kingdom inside of Japan and in a relationship with the Ninetale Fox. Now I will say that there may be some references to events that happened in Fable Town and with the adversary but I do believe that this can be read as a standalone story. This story is amazing. It has action, adventure, romance, betrayal, second chance love. It just hits all of my sweet spots and I love it. And then on top of that, we get these glorious pages. Stunning. 
The artwork of Fable and Fairies is second to none. I love it. For Bingo, this book satisfies LGBTQ, different worlds, second chance, uh, takes place in a foreign country, and bad girl, bad boy. There are quite a few of them in this one. This one alone gets you instant bingo and it's worth it. Number four is Bingo Love by T. Franklin. You get it? Bingo Love. I hit it right on the nose with that one. This is a sweet second chance love story about two women who meet in the 1960s during church bingo. They strike up a friendship and then fall in love. But because of the sentiment of the time, their relationship dissolves under the pressure from their friends and family and they don't see each other again for decades. But they do meet again and they have a second chance at finding love. This one was warm kind and sweet. It was just a joy to read and the artwork once again is just beautiful to look at. I think it's gorgeous. This book satisfies LGBTQ, authors of color, friends to lovers, and second chance. This one's adorable. And number five is Sex Criminals by Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. This is a quirky fantasy romance about two people who, when they orgasm, they stop time on their own. They pretty much have lived a life of just one night stands because when they orgasm, time stops. The other person is frozen. Kind of hard to build a relationship on that. Well, one night they meet, they like each other, they hook up and they're both about to leave when they find out, hey, you're not frozen. You're not frozen either. Oh my gosh, you're like me. And from that point, they start hearing Shania Twain in their head and think they have found the one. But as all of us know, the love you have is more than the love you make. A relationship is very difficult when you base it on just enjoying the same type of sex. This one encompasses a whole lot more than just that, but that's pretty much how this story starts and that's kind of at the heart of it. Um, it really is just a relationship story about two people trying to make it work. This one doesn't actually satisfy any additional squares other than the free spaces on the bingo card. I just threw it in there because it's a hell of a fun time and I enjoy reading it. So. Those are my five suggestions. And if you were to read all five of these books, your bingo card would look something like this. That is three bingos right there. You're welcome. That's it for today's video. If you have any comic book suggestions that could be read for Smutathon, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to check those out. Well, I hope this video was helpful or interesting or at least enjoyable. If you think so, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Um, if you want to see more videos, check out some of my comic reviews. I have a few here already on the channel. And think about subscribing. Come on, join the family. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Enjoy your reading. Bye-bye.